So anyone can be a short jumper. I can prove uh, with myself that it's not really an elite sport. At the end, when you work hard, everyone can get there. So of course, it's a sport like all the other sports that uh, is a big challenge, but life is a challenge. So we, we need to fight every day to make your dreams come in true. We had a house on the beach and on the way there was always a stable. One day we stopped there and I fully lost straight away with the, with the sport. Step by step I started to do my first competition and my family was a little bit surprised because uh, yeah, no one understood anything about the sport. So for me it was everything new and uh, I understood it was an expensive sport and I didn't want my family to sponsor myself uh, at the level. They, they thought I was completely crazy to do this because and, uh, I actually understand them. I got the first thoughts uh, for uh, fate, let's say, because my father has uh, a building roads construction and uh, the, uh, my first trainer, he was building his own place, but uh, in uh, exchange of money, he gave, uh, <laughs> he gave me a horse, <laughs> a quite bad horse, actually. I was like always on the ground, he was always stopping. I really wanted uh, the perfection in my mind. I wanted to be something like I always admire. I always looked, uh, every, every night I was looking at the, the big competition and for me it was really inspiring, no? So I was uh, always looking to learn from everyone, even uh, at the normal shows to look in the warm up, everyone to start to know people, to start to, to take my chance. For five years I was working really hard, I did uh, everything from sport horses. Uh, I was my own groom with 14 horses. Uh, I was going to the show by myself. Uh, I was helping dealers to sell horses uh, because at the end it was the only way to get horses to ride. The time that I started to have the trust from, from other people really made the click in my mind. And, and from that moment I really understood I could do that then. Come on, Lorenzo, come on. It is 41-5-1 to beat, and here's the last jump, trying to get control, and then get the jump, and smashes it. Brilliant. 39-2-0. Two and a half seconds in front for uh, Lorenzo. For sure, uh, the sport is unbelievable, and the Global Champions Tour and Global Champions League uh, is something really innovative, no? because also we see in our team the Rome Gladiators, so we have people, American, Brazilian, Egyptians, uh, Italian, uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a mix and make everything better also because it comes a confrontation with other very good riders that make you improve week by week. Uh, the league is very tough this year and uh, everyone uh, I think at the end of the season improved also a lot. Yeah, Global Champions Tour, it goes uh, on the best cities in the world like uh, Miami, Shanghai, Mexico City, Monaco, Rome. Uh, it's is amazing to go week by week and make uh, always uh, at the end a new adventure in the sport every week, uh, making it different and uh, try to be the best every week. I feel happy actually to win two Grand Prix at the end is not so easy and uh, that makes the horses happy, myself happy and the owners happy and my team happy. <laughs> People, when uh, you win, uh, comes to you, but at the end, the real rider and uh, I think a, a good person also react good in the bad moments. So I'm a really positive person, otherwise I wouldn't be here, I think, at this moment. You see people and riders like uh, John Whittaker, Michael Whittaker, uh, Bosti, uh, they are a perfect example of uh, be positive and try to work harder every day and try to learn uh, every week from every horse uh, and try to get better in everything because that's the fun of our sport. We have some, so much different horses that we can learn every day from someone, uh, something, no? My dream is to be on the podium on the Olympics, but okay, I always uh, dream I. I always, uh, since I was a kid, I, dream, I dreamed I. So we keep dreaming I. <laughs>